plaster cast copy of the Critias boy, original statue attributed to the sculptor Critias, found on the Acropolis in Athens around 478 BCE, from the James Logie Memorial Collection, accession number CC15. The Critias boy, named after its sculptor Critias, stands before us not quite life-sized. He appears to be a teenaged boy, standing at around 130 centimetres. His bodily proportions seem to be to the scale of a real human. The entire statue is a plaster cast copy of an original marble sculpture. The off-white, pinkish colour of the plaster cast imitates that of the original marble material, even though, in ancient times, statues would have been brightly painted when originally produced. Each of the boy's limbs are partially missing. Both arms come down to just above the elbows, and the left leg finishes just above the ankle, and the right leg just below the knee. The rest of the boy's features, however, remain intact. The statue remains freestanding, as the boy's legs are mounted on rods which sit in a square plaster cast base. The boy is completely naked. His muscles are softly defined, emphasising his youth. His genitals are small, which would have indicated his moderate nature. Oversized genitalia in ancient Greek art tended to represent bestiality or a lack of sexual control. This boy, however, appears calm and controlled. His facial expression is relaxed as he tilts his head slightly down towards his left shoulder his mouth set in a subtle pout. He wears his hair in a way that might be described as a cap of curls. A rolled brim of hair sits nearly above the boy's ears, encircling his entire head. The boy's eye sockets are empty. The original marble sculpture probably had inlaid glass eyes, which would have brought the boy to life for his viewers. This would be particularly pertinent if the statue commemorated someone who had died young. Alternatively, the boy may be a victorious athlete or a mythical hero. The boy might at first seem to be standing exactly upright. In fact, he has his body weight placed onto his right leg. This leg stands slightly forward on its base. This imbalanced stance means that the shoulders, hips and knees all sit unevenly, removing any stiff straightness out of the posture. This pose is known as the contraposto pose, referring to the counterpoises in the statue's posture. Unlike other plaster cast copies of the Critias boy, this copy carries visible damage from the Canterbury earthquake in 2010. Hairline cracks are visible on the right thigh and knee, providing evidence of post-quake conservation.